Yes, it's that time of year again, Halloween. I'm so excited. I heard we're going to tell scary stories and watch Halloween movies. Yep, this year is going to be really fun. Roar, I'm scary. Boo. <laughs> nice try, Ennard, but I know it's you. Uh, yeah, you can definitely tell. I was just seeing if it did scare you. Yeah, but it didn't. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be scary. I mean, I'm just wearing this mask, and I don't think it's creepy at all. Hey, Funtime Freddy, look what I found. What did you find, Ballora? I found a big Star Wars Christmas hat. Ooh, that Christmas hat is so big. I mean, even though Christmas is two months away, I think that hat is really cool. Yeah, and it's Star Wars. Yeah, that's a really cool Star Wars Christmas hat. And it's so big. I mean, you could definitely go in there. I know, it's really cool. Are you sure I can handle scary movies, Lobe? Trust me, Bonnie, you'll be just fine. Besides, it's just Halloween movies. How bad can it be? <sighs> You're right. Just as long as I don't get nightmares, though. I hate nightmares. They are really scary. Isn't that the point of Halloween? I mean, Halloween is where things get scary, so it kind of makes sense. True. I mean, nightmares aren't real. Except Nightmare Animatronics. They're villains. Guys, it's time to watch a scary movie. Born Born, did you hear that? Yeah, Baby said we're going to watch a movie. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. Which scary movie do you want to watch? How about The Boogie Bear? I heard it just got released on DVD. I think it's a good idea. I heard it's brand new. Who wants to watch The Boogie Bear with me? I do. I do. I want to watch it. Me too. Me three. I guess I can watch it too. All right, guys. Let's watch The Boogie Bear. Wow, that movie was really scary. All right, now that we're done watching a scary movie, let's tell some stories. Hang on, it must be the trick-or-treaters. Give me a second. Um, hello? Trick or treat? Got us some candy? Um, hang on, let me think. Uh, let's see what I have. What should I give them? We're all out of candy. Ooh, an extra batch of exotic butters. Uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna work. Okay, kids, so I couldn't find any candy, but I did find some exotic butters. Ooh, I love exotic butters. Me too. Yeah, so do I, but those aren't really mine, but it is an extra batch, so I decided to give them to you. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Happy Halloween. All right, guys, that was the trick-or-treaters. Anyways, let's tell some scary stories. All right, guys, who's ready to tell a scary story? I know a scary story. There once was a clown, and this clown wanted to kidnap one person. So he searched all over the neighborhood, and then he found someone. It was a girl, and so the clown started chasing her, and the girl ran and ran and ran until she reached the forest. And when she went to the forest, she tries to hide. And then the clown goes to the forest. And then when the clown saw her again, the girl ran again. She ran as fast as she could and as far away as she could go. And then when she saw the police, she told the police that there was a clown chasing her. And so the clown was caught and the clown was arrested. And then the girl was safe. The end. I'm glad that girl is okay. All right, guys, it's my turn. There once was a pumpkin man, but it was no ordinary person. It was a creepy pumpkin man that tries to kidnap people every Halloween. And so when Halloween happened, he searches for people to kidnap, but he was only able to kidnap one person. So he kidnapped one person because he spotted one. And so after that, one person tries to save the person that was kidnapped. 
and he succeeded. After that, the two people ran, and they escaped. And then, the pumpkin man started chasing the two people. But then, he failed. And then, he waits for another Halloween to try again. The end. Wow, interesting. All right, anyone else? I know a scary story. So, I was looking in the kitchen to see if there was any peanut butter because I want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And there wasn't any peanut butter. So I went to the store and there wasn't any left. And that's what happened. The end. Oh, what am I kidding? That wasn't even scary. Oh, actually, that's kind of scary because, I mean, a store running out of peanut butter, that's really scary because some people who love peanut butter always find it really scary when people ran out of peanut butter. The only story I remember is when me and Funtime Freddy were driving and we were out of gas and there was no gas station near us. That was actually a nightmare to me. The only scary story I remember is when we were at the store and we were gonna buy some groceries, but we were out of money. But luckily, Edward had some money and so we bought groceries. The only scary story I have is when, when I was young, dance lessons were cancelled for this week. That was my worst nightmare to me. Yeah, some scary stories do have happy endings. Some of them don't. Uh, Alright guys, Ooh, I am really tired. Uh, I need some rest. We all do need some rest. Alright guys, we had a good happy Halloween, but now it's time to go to bed. Good night, guys. <sighs> Time to go to bed. Uh, I am so tired. Uh, today was great. I really enjoyed Halloween. Uh, and now it's time to rest. Wait, who's there? What's wrong, little girl? Scared? Oh, wait, you're an adult. Well, even though you're an adult, I'll still try to get you because I like to scare people. So if I were you, I would keep an eye on me. So make sure you keep an eye on me, or I'll scare you. Good luck. <laughs> There's a monster in my room? What am I gonna do? I'm too scared to handle this by myself. Maybe I'll get a fun time Freddy to do something about it. Let's go. Donuts. Uh, stay away, donut thief. They're my donuts. Freddy! Fun time, Freddy, wake up! <sighs> yes, baby? I kinda need your help. Okay, what is it? Well, you see, there's a monster in my room. Wait, a monster? What does he look like? He kinda looks like the one from the movie. You mean the boogie bear? Yeah, so I kinda need your help to do something about it. Okay, I'll try to see what I can do. I'll probably get Loba to help too. Thanks, Freddy. You're welcome. Anyways, let's do it. You think you're ready, Bon Bon? Yeah, I will help too. All right, let's find that monster. All right, baby, so this monster looks like the boogie bear, right? Right. So me and Lobit are going to search for the monster. And if we see him, then we're going to catch him. All right? Okay. All right, let the search begin. In the closet? Um, I don't see him. He's not in there. Behind the TV? Um, no, he's not there. Mudster, are you in here? Not in here. Behind the chair? Um, no, not there. Maybe he's under the cones. Aha! Aw, oh, he's not under there either. <laughs> well, no sign of that monster. He's gotta be here somewhere. Wait, Freddy, what is that one place we haven't looked? Hmm. <gasps> under the bed, of course. Any monster can go under the bed. Let's look there. Let's see if the monster is under the bed. Aha! Whoops. I found the monster. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, um, hey guys. Uh, how you doing? Nightmare Freddy, I should have known. Well, I don't know what to say, but I'm still going to scare you. Oh, what kind of joke is it now? Who are you? I'm Mr. Fazbear. Well, you're big. I mean, you're as big as my father, but still. Um, well, I guess I'll... <laughs> uh, I think I should leave. Yeah, I think it's a better choice. Well, it looks like our work here is done. Yep, it actually worked. Yep, thanks guys. And since it's now over, I get to finally go to sleep.